Hey, what's up, guys? Your boys, Twilight 2K7, back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR episode. Today, we're going to be playing as the Grapeseed Police Department, and we're pretty much shutting down all of the roads over here because the Alamo Sea is starting to overflow and block some of the roads in and out of grape seed so because of that we're going to be enforcing a mandatory evacuation zone we're going to go house by house and make sure everybody is evacuated if they don't evacuate we're going to give them a warning and if they don't listen we could potentially have to detain them for their own safety because the water levels are rising fast the rain is coming down hard it's only expected to get worse so the last thing we want is from people to get trapped in their homes and then die from the rising water so we're gonna try to prevent that here today guys so let's go ahead and hop into our Silverado and let's get this episode started now if you guys do enjoy this episode do me a favor make sure you guys smash that like button go ahead and hit the like button right now and also leave some comments throughout the video as well so um, this is all a new feature from Peter you call out so I will link it in the video description if you guys would like to check it out for yourself but basically what we're doing here is we're gonna be uh, manually or not really manually but we're gonna be enforcing a mandatory evacuation zone and I think I'm gonna try to drive over here because it looks like the road is impassable unpassable over here so let's go ahead and try to go into this farmland a little bit here kind of I'm sorry I kind of got sidetracked I don't want to get stuck in the rain here. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, okay, I'm going to back up here. I don't want to take out these people's fence. So I'm going to try to see if I can get around the fence without uh, getting too much water into the truck and making the truck stall out here. All right, let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it across here. I think... I think we may have to all right I'm gonna try to get across this right here I don't think we're gonna get across it but I'm gonna try oh okay we got across that that probably just destroyed our trailer all right guys so we had to struggle to get through that right there well, let's go ahead and continue. I think that was probably the hardest road to get through. Uh, this up here shouldn't be as bad. But as you guys can see, it is really bad out here, guys. Lots of flooding. Uh, this whole farmland over here has pretty much been destroyed by the, by the flood in here as well. All right, let's try to make it through this piece right here. Oh, we're struggling. We're struggling. We're struggling. And we got it. Okay. Whew. All right. So... Let's go ahead and get to the residential area. That's pretty much all the flooding that we had to get through. Attention all units. We have civilians requiring assistance leaving the area in Grapeseed. All right, guys. So we just got the official call for the mandatory evacuation. So we're going to go ahead and finish evacuating Grapeseed now. So on the top left, it wants us to proceed to the marked area and assist anyone who needs help with the mandatory evacuation order. Okay, so let's get ready to move in. And as you guys saw back there, a lot of the roads are starting to flood up between Grapeseed and Sandy Shores. So that's why we really want to go ahead and start evacuating as um, the water level here on the Alamo Sea is rising. So we do have the boat just in case the water comes up faster than we expect we have to boat just in case and uh, we can make some like swift water rescues or anything like that so we're coming up on location here and it looks like we have a couple of residential houses we're going to be evacuating and it looks like some people are already self evacuating here Attention as well which is perfect so let's go ahead and park up right here for now we're going to go ahead and hop out and I wonder what time is it in game <laughs> It is 7 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and just rewind that back because I am I normally like to do around 12 o'clock when we're playing. All right. So anyway, let's go ahead and start talking to everybody. It looks like this person is already evacuated. So that looks awesome. They're putting all of their stuff into their car. They got their trunk open. So they are ready for the evacuation, which looks awesome. Let's just uh, talk to them really quickly. That's so cool watching them pick everything up and drop it in too. Very, very cool. Hello. You have a moment to talk, please? Let's go ahead and talk to her. Okay, ma'am. Um, 
Okay, so I can see that you're loading up your car, so I'm pretty sure you're already aware of the evacuation order, correct? You heard about it on the radio, so as you can see, I'm getting ready. Okay, perfect. So just um, go ahead and try to hurry up a little bit. And if you need any help, just let me know, okay? Okay, so she says, now that you put it like that, I guess she has everything. So she should be leaving. And yeah, her house is really close to the water. So as you guys can see, the water level is rising. So we want to make sure we get these people out of here as soon as possible. Let's move on to the next house. Got another car in the driveway. Let's see what's going on over here. All right, I don't see anybody outside, so we're gonna have to knock on the door. So let's go ahead and knock. Now this is gonna be a little loud, guys. So fair warning, this may be loud. You may want to turn your volume down really quickly. Prepare. Okay, hopefully it wasn't too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and ring the doorbell. We're just gonna wait. Grape seed police. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, how you doing, ma'am? My name is Officer Ace with the Grape Sea Police Department. Are you aware of the mandatory evacuation order? Oh, uh, you want to stay here? Okay, ma'am. You're not going to be allowed to stay here, okay? So, mandatory evacuation. So, that means you have to leave. Do you need any help? No? Well... If you do not, um, if you do not leave, I'm going to have to detain you and you're going to spend time in jail. Bye. She says, you're just a bully with a badge. I'm not interested in playing your silly games. Okay, it looks like she's going to be evacuating. So that's perfect. My partner was just chilling right there. Okay, let's head over to the next house. So we're going to just keep making our way north, clear out all of these houses. This is a really cool call out so far. Peter, you really has been bringing, like, really good call outs but also like really immersive call outs that you don't just like show up on scene and you're done in five seconds which is pretty cool all right next house ringing the doorbell all right grape seed police okay so nobody uh answered it says possible that the residents have already evacuated there's no car in the driveway so possibly yeah, I don't see no cars around. Okay, so we're going to assume that this house stay already evacuated. Let's go across the street. Oh, I see somebody over there. So let's go across the street and see if this guy needs any help or what his plans are. Looks like he's loading up his car as well. Hello, sir. How you doing? You have a moment to talk, please? Oh, he's loading up his bags. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Speak. Hey, hello, sir. Are you aware of the uh, mandatory evacuation order? Yep, you're gathering everything right now. Okay, perfect. Just try to hurry up a little bit, okay? On the flip side. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and get out of here. Perfect, perfect. So let's go ahead and grab our truck and let's move our truck up. We evacuated four. I think I can't see how many more properties we have to go to. But very, very cool. Very, very cool. If you guys do enjoy this episode, make sure you guys smash that like button. And I thank you guys so, so much for watching, as always. What are you doing, partner? Okay, there he goes. All right, so he's going to go ahead and evacuate. So let's head to the next house. Looks like we have two more houses, guys. Two more houses to do. All righty. This is actually a foreclosure, but we'll still check and see if anybody's here. You never know. Alrighty, let's ring that doorbell. Alrighty, so we're just gonna wait, see if we get a response here. Grapeseed police! Okay, nobody's coming out of here, so. Looks like whoever was here evacuated already. I don't see any lights. I don't hear any TVs or anything, so I guess they evacuated already. Let's head to the next house. And it should be the last house that we have to evacuate here. Alrighty. Oh my god. Oh, there's different doorbells. That's what it is. That's the one that's like really kind of loud. Alright, is anybody home? Oh, nope. Okay. So are we done here? I think we may be done here, guys. 
think we may be done. Let's do another quick uh, drive up and down the road. And it looks pretty good. We didn't have to detain anybody, so that's good. Last thing I want to do is arrest somebody, really, because they don't want to leave their house. But, you know, you kind of have to do it for their own safety. Because if this area gets flooded out, there's not going to be anybody that's going to be able to rescue, rescue them right away. So they're going to be trapped. And once that flood water starts rising, they could get in trouble there. Alright, so I think we're good oh. here. Um... I think we are good. Let's go ahead and continue out. We're just going to look and see if anybody else is out here. But I think we're good, guys. I think we are good. All of these stores are already closed up. They boarded up the windows. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. Alrighty, so I think we are going to be done, guys. Let's go ahead and spin back around. Well, let's let this patch know we're going to be finished here. Alright, so we got a little summary here. We got excellent work. We visited six houses. We didn't miss anybody. And we evacuated three out of three, so we did not miss anybody. So that was pretty cool, guys. I kind of want to do it again. I want to see if we could, like, detain somebody. So, um... I don't know. Maybe we'll do another episode with this. If you guys would like to see another episode, definitely let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that like button. Leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Grapeseed, respond code 3.